Hello, my name is Jarrell Dule. I'm the developer of the Silver Falls games. If we haven't met yet, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm making this video today to give you all an update on how development is going on the Silver Falls series, uh, what's coming up with our Wii U and 3DS games, and uh, what more for the future. So uh, this is just an open, honest, shooting from the hip video. I don't have a script. I don't have anything planned for this. I value being open and honest with everyone uh, with how the process is going. At the moment, uh, with each passing week, I'm falling uh, farther and farther behind in terms of the release schedule. Uh, for those that were around in March when I was trying to get all seven of these games submitted to Nintendo in time, uh, I barely managed that. I was developing all seven titles simultaneously. I was barely scraped by uh, getting all those titles submitted to Nintendo really before the last hour of uh, when I would be able to um, get my game submitted. Uh, and because I did that, it, it I uh, put a massive strain on my physical health, uh, and I'm still paying the price for that now. I worked more than 130 hours a week uh, in March. I worked multiple all-nighters, uh, and I haven't uh, had the opportunity to rest, to recover from that. Uh, I've still been working full uh, time on these projects, and what's happening now is I have gone past the time when I told Nintendo that I would get the launch day version submitted for each of those games. So for me, it's uh, quite stressful, because at any minute uh, they could say, hey, you said you were going uh, to submit these titles, and you've gone over um, that time in terms of getting the launch day uh, versions ready for these games. It's very important for me to bring out titles that are high quality, that will meet people's expectations, especially then, since these are supposed to be the final games for the Wii U and 3DS. And there's great pressure to deliver, particularly uh, when, if people weren't around when we first launched Three Down Stars in 2019, um, I wasn't really able to make money uh, out of that title by selling on the eShop because I, we received overwhelmingly negative reviews all over the internet. So uh, unfortunately, people weren't interested in that. And that was because of a very difficult development process. Uh, there were a lot of things that went into it. It took me two years to get the game uh, updated based on feedback and reporting. And I do have uh, a new update coming for Three Down Stars that's going to largely fix the crashing, bring in even more uh, requests and substantial improvements. And so for me, it's important that I keep working as hard as I can to keep improving my games and to make sure that they are uh, what people want to play. Uh, but because of that, I can't risk um, getting games out onto the eShop that will receive uh, a negative review uh, like our first title did. Again, it made it extremely difficult for the next two years because of all the negative reviews that I received, and uh, they advised people, don't play these games, they're no good, obviously, you know, and reviewers sort of said, oh, no effort went into these games, when it's the exact opposite. I pour my heart and soul into these titles, but as a solo developer, there's only so much you can do when the software that you're working with um, has issues with it, and you, that just means that it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort to get a product that works uh, the way that it should. Uh, if you had software that worked properly, development environment that worked properly, uh, it wouldn't really be that much of an issue. So I'm doing my best. I have been trying to get uh, White Side It's Umbra finished and submitted uh, the entire week. Right now I'm just waiting for one last build. Uh, I just wanted to keep refining uh, and balancing and testing more of the uh, different elements of the game. It's a substantial title. It's huge. There's two different complete game modes. One is very uh, RPG element heavy. There's a lot of equipment and skills, and there's a lot of different mechanics that go into that. And I needed to make sure that playing through that uh, was rewarding and fun and balanced, and that it, there's still a challenge there as well. So that sort of thing, you know, usually require quite a large team for that, and you need to put in an immense amount of testing, and I don't have a team, and I don't have a lot of time for testing as well. So I've done the very best that I can. It's quite late tonight. I really wanted to have White Inside its number, the launch day version. I wanted to have that finished and submitted tonight. 
uh, but it looks like um, I'm just waiting for the build to finish. I'm going to have to run through it again, and then hopefully I can just submit that in the morning. So White uh, Inside its Umbra is ready to go. Ghoul Busters uh, was uh, non-approved by uh, Nintendo uh, because there were issues running on the original 3DS hardware. No problems running on new 3DS and new 2DS XL. There were just some stabilities on the original 3DS, which has less uh, memory. And so I've uh, made adjustments, and I'm going to resubmit that. So it's not a substantial issue, but it looks like Ghoul Busters will be a week or two uh, delayed in terms of launch. But it looks like hopefully we should be able to get that onto the eShop soon. Uh, and really just the point of this video is I just want to let everyone know that I appreciate all of your support. Um, it's quite difficult uh, when I have to spend uh, my entire workday on these products to still manage the marketing side as well to try to drum up interest and excitement to keep people engaged. That's a full-time job in itself as well, so I don't always have the time to do that. It's quite demanding just getting these games ready. And we also have our Kickstarter for uh, picking up a Pokemon Mini and a development uh, hardware. Uh, we are funded on that, and there are uh, about 40 hours left on that if anyone would like to contribute to that. Again, uh, I'm not asking for people to fund uh, the development of that. Again, I handle the development uh, costs and all of that. Uh, I handle that out of pocket. I'm not asking for people to pay for the development of that, um, but the Kickstarter is so that I can pick up the console and the development hardware for testing and deployment. And people have asked uh, for physical uh, versions, uh, cartridges. Uh, for me, that's going to be quite expensive because the hardware is quite rare, especially if I'm going to put these on cartridges. But if the game is well-received, if people enjoy that, uh, and there is interest uh, for a physical version of the game, then that is an option that I would definitely look into uh, because people seem to be interested in that. So let's wait and see if people actually receive the game well and they enjoy it. So again, if anyone would like to contribute to the Kickstarter, I'll put the link in the description. We have about 40 hours left or so. Uh, right now we're just going, you know, we're reaching for the stretch goals. Uh, and... Um, yeah, but the, the next stretch goal that's coming up would be to uh, produce and launch the game this year instead of next year. So I just wanted to thank everyone who's contributed to that, who's shown interest and excitement. I'm very much looking forward to that, but I won't be working on that project until all seven of our Wii U and 3DS titles have been launched. I will be supporting those titles long term, and that is in terms of improvements uh, bug fixes, balance patches, and adding new content as well. And I just want to thank everyone again for all of your support, for playing Silver Falls, for sharing your excitement, for telling other people about Silver Falls, for all the websites that are talking about Silver Falls. I just want to let you know that I genuinely, personally, really appreciate that. I'm just a solo developer. I'm not a fancy YouTuber. I'm not any kind of influencer or any kind of celebrity. I'm really just a normal guy. I'm doing my job. And I'm trying to chase down my dream of becoming a game developer. And ever since I was a kid, I wanted to make games for people all around the world. And I've always understood that's not something that happens easily. And it's not something that happens quickly. So I'm working as hard as I absolutely can. And I am looking forward to bringing my next games to you all. I appreciate all of you. Thanks very much. And you all take care of yourselves. I'll see you around.